Recently I was asked to duplicate this slightly fire damaged bench and the way it's held up over the years I'm really not too fond of the structural frame here so what I'm going to do is duplicate the seat and back but I want to put it on my bench frame that I know is a little bit stronger. I'm going to start with the leg and arm assemblies which are both made out of treated 2 by 4 With all your structural members of the leg assemblies complete, it's a good idea to lay them out like this before you glue them up to make sure you have a left and a right. And also, when you before you assemble, make sure you have the bad side up. That way the good side will be on the outside and it will be shown. I've just taken the time to cut this curve in the top of the seat support. And this is optional, but the original bench had it, so I'm going to incorporate it in this bench as well. Before I do my final assembly of these leg components, I want to cut pocket holes on the inside tops of all four of my legs, and that's how I'm going to attach the armrest. All these back supports are going to have three different dados in the back, and that's to accept horizontal runners which will give the shape pieces something to mount to. So I am going to measure, mark, and cut all of these at the same time. I've cut and fit all of my horizontal supports in the back assembly, and now I can just glue them and screw them into place, but I need to make sure that they extend past the upright by one and a half inches, so I've set up two right here to give me an exact one and a half inch space. I've got this back assembly temporarily clamped to the leg and arm assembly and it goes in place so that the 15 degree cut down here is flush with the bottom of this horizontal piece. This also intersects at the top of the second horizontal piece right here. Now I can just open up my clamps a little bit, put some glue in my joint, and screw it all together. I've just installed this middle back support, this middle seat support, and these slats. And I've got to say, the slight curve that I put in the seat really makes a big difference in comfort. I've only got it held in place with screws right now because once I get this done and the back done, I'm going to take them both apart and round over all the edges and then I can glue and screw them back on. You can glue your patterns right to the workpiece if you want, but I'm going to glue them to some quarter inch plywood. That way I can make some reusable templates for me to use later on down the road. I'm glued up two pieces of 1x6 and this will give me the width that I need for my templates. This was a pretty fun project to make and it looks pretty darn cool as well. Check out my website for a free set of plans for this as well as a bunch of other easy projects that just about anybody can make. Uh, thanks for watching guys and have a great day.